All right. Good. Thank you. You are welcome, Mrs. Portman. Mrs. <laughs> what? Scary. What? <laughs> well, let me ask you about that. <laughs> All right. Roll tape. Go speak. You know, you know, Natalie. These days, there are so many entertainment reporters, internet stuff. All this. How quickly did you realize that people knew that you had been cast in this movie? I think it was announced in like the trades and stuff pretty much the next day. Um, so I guess immediately yeah. people knew about it, especially since it's so high profile and people are so interested in who is going to be in it. Did that, did that ever unnerve you, people coming up to you on the street and asking you plot points? So what was your, your standard response to that? Well, I don't really get bothered so much, so I didn't really have that experience. People really didn't ask me unless they knew me personally. and. Um, and I try not to tell too much because I think it'll be a more exciting movie for people if they don't know very much about it at all. You know, it's amazing outside the hotel right now, there are legions of people mm -hmm. with things to be signed by Star mm -hmm. Wars cast members. Right. Have you ever in your life signed as many autographs mm -hmm. as you've had the last few weeks, few months? I really haven't. No one's been bothering me. You know, I'm in school. I'm not, you know, walking the streets of New York with a Star Wars hat on. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> But it's been it's been fine so far, and um, and I've had experiences like whenever you go to public events, there's always many people with signing things, so mm. I'm not too intimidated by it. Does that kind of annoy you that these people are going to just turn around and sell these things to on on the open market? Look, people make their livings in different yeah. ways, and I mean, some people get annoyed that what we do gets, you know paid money because it's such an easy and fun thing to do, which it isn't that easy, but compared to some jobs it is. Okay, well, a question about the costume. I know you're getting asked about that a lot, but I was just wondering, at lunchtime, how difficult was it to, uh, to take a break with the things you had to wear? Well, it was difficult. I mean, I had at least half an hour after we finished shooting to try and get out of the hair thing and take off the the wardrobe and everything. It was very difficult stuff to wear, but, but it looked so beautiful that it was completely worth it. Were you ever overwhelmed at when they started bringing this stuff out, thinking, geez, that's, that's a lot of stuff to wear, and how many outfits? Yeah, well, I wasn't, I was pretty excited about it when it first happened because I had never really been in, in any sort of costume uh, piece where, where the clothes were a very important part of the character. And so I was very excited at first because I didn't realize that, you know, I was going to be in these heavy, heavy, uncomfortable costumes for days. And um, so, so when I first saw it, I was much more excited than when I actually had to wear it. Did you ever get a sense that people on the set felt sorry for you for all the things that you had to go through with that? <laughs> well, probably. I'm sure they did. They, everyone was really nice. I mean, the assistant directors and the, the hair people and the wardrobe people were constantly doing things to, to make it easier on me. They would lift my, my head piece up so it wouldn't be so, you know, pressing on my head and things like that to, to help me out. Now, I have a question now. After this movie comes out, you'll be, you know, even more recognizable because of right. this role. Right. Uh, are you anticipating a lot of people saying, your majesty to you? And do you think you'll be getting extra special service in restaurants now? I. I don't think that anyone's going to come up and say your majesty unless they've got some skewed vision of <laughs> Star Wars being real. Um, but I think it, it will change the way some people will act towards me, which, I mean, if people acted the way they did to famous people like they did to everyone, we'd have a lot less problems. <laughs> Okay, and one last question about George Lucas. I mean, I, I was a teenager when Star Wars came up, and he's become almost this myth-like figure. Right. Uh, was there anything about him that just really made you laugh and really surprised you pleasantly about him? He's just a great, normal guy. I mean, he's really funny. He's really nice. He's very talkative, and he's, he's really intelligent. Um, the thing that surprised me most, I mean, this guy is clearly very successful, extremely intelligent walks around in the same plaid shirt and jeans every single day on the set. We'd be in Tunisia in 150 degrees and he'd be wearing that plaid shirt, you know. And it was, it was great because it shows the kind of guy he is. No matter how much success he's had, it hasn't, you know, gone to his head at all. Hopefully that was the, a different shirt that looked the same or he had a laundry there were person different every day. There were different shirts. He's not, he's not like dirty. He's, okay. just, <laughs> sure he's just very, you know, simple with his kind of clothing.